Hello friends, welcome to next session in our ADAPT learning series. And now we'll start a new topic that is enhancement. So let's understand first what is SAP ADAPT enhancements. So when any company purchases the SAP software and they do all the installation in the server, so all the objects like any table, any transition code, any source code, so all the objects are called as the SAP standard objects, okay? But sometime to meet the business requirement, we need to add some additional functionality in that, okay? So that concept, like adding our own functionality in the SAP standard object without disturbing the original functionality is called as an enhancement, okay? So what is enhancement? In simple, like uh, enhancement is a way to customize or extend the SAP standard software without modifying the original code. This means that we can just add our own features to meet the business requirement along with the integrity of SAP standard system. So consider this SAP standard business application and this we are using as it is in our system. But to meet business requirement, we want some additional features. So through enhancement, we can add on this here, you can see we can add these additional features, okay, along with the standard, so that the standard will not get disturbed, and also we'll able to use our new additional features. So this concept, in simple, this concept is known as the enhancement. So now, what are different objects, and what we can do? Which object we can enhance? So let's have a look at the standard SAP objects and how and we can enhance that. So first have a look at the SAP standard table. This is transparent table VBAK, which is stored the sales document header data. So consider like SAP has given this standard table VBAK with some around 100 fields. But to meet the business requirement, okay, your customer want some additional fields in the sales order header. Okay, so the additional fields we can add in this VBAK table through appendix structure or CI include. So adding those additional fields in this existing VBAK along with the existing 100, 150 fields, this is called as an enhancement, dictionary object enhancement, okay? So this is one way of enhancement, add the custom field in the standard table or structure. So the second tech example of a domain, Let's see, this is a standard domain with some predefined values. And you want one additional value. So that is also possible through the domain value enhancement. Then we can do the source code enhancement that <coughs> consider this is a, a standard program code. And to meet the business requirement, we want to add some validations here. Okay, or we want to set some values. So this we can achieve through the source code enhancement, right? And then we can also do the screen enhancement. This means that this is a SAP standard screen and we might require some additional fields on the screen. So this is called the screen enhancement, okay? So all this we can achieve through the concept of enhancement, like adding the custom field, modifying the existing, so, uh, sorry, adding the validations, adding the custom field on the screen, adding domain values, all these we can do through enhancement. Now, the question is how to implement this? What are the different methods for this enhancement? Okay, so for this, we have to look at the types of enhancements. There are different types actually. Okay, so whenever like SAP continuously work to upgrade the software, and with some every release after some work or some feedback, they provide some new options. So same in case of enhancement, in like initial uh, launch of SAP, they provided only in the SD module, the concept of user exist. This was, this is not absolute actually. Okay, but we should have the knowledge like what was the user exist. So earlier they released the user exist, okay, in their first release. Okay, but the user exists, 
it is not called as an enhancement. This is considered as a modification because whenever you want to implement the user exists, okay, those are like provided as a subroutine through perform routine. So here to modify this actually, we require the access key. If you're working in any old ECG system and if you find some user exists and if you try to add your own code, system will ask for the access key. Here system will ask for the access key. And this object like R3 TR program and this program name, you have to register on the SAP website along with the installation number. So SAP will provide the access key. Through that access key, which is a number, we can add our code here in which user exists. But because through access key, when we are directly adding the code here, this is not a customer namespace. What is customer namespace in SAP? Any object which is starting with Z or Y, we call it as the customer namespace. But here the user exists, we are not implementing through, through user exists. Okay, we are not creating any Z object, we are directly adding our code. That's why this user exists is called as a modification in the standard code. And the issue comes in the user exists like whenever there is an upgrade. Okay, so upgrade means all the program will get overwrite. Over Fine. So suppose I return some code here, so this will get overwrite with the new version. And because it is not in the customer name space, we will not able to see that. That's why initially SAP has provided the user exists, which is obsolete now. So after that, they've come up with the many other features which we are going to learn. This only for knowledge, we will not see any object on this because now it is obsolete, we cannot implement. In HANA, even if you will not be able to find this. Okay, user exist concepts. So now after that, like SAP has come up with the customer exits, which are also called as a function model exits. Then after customer exists, SAP has come up with a body, a very flexible and very popular way of enhancement bodies. Those are called as a business add-ins. So as a customer exists are called as a function model exists, which are implemented through function model. So the body we have to implement in an object oriented way. There are methods okay, and instances are there which we need to implement. We have to identify like the required body through AC18 and then you can create an implementation with AC19. With AC24 also we can find out the required body through like debugging mode. This will learn at a time of implementation of body. Okay, so after user exists, there was customer exists, then bodies. Then there is an enhancement framework. This call as a new enhancement framework. I think from EHP pack six onwards, SAP introduced this new enhancement framework. So in the new enhancement framework, like old was only customer exists and body, but here they come up with the implicit enhancement and the explicit enhancement. And the explicit, explicit enhancement further divided into enhancement point, enhancement section, and bodies. And this body is called as a new body or the kernel body. The old one we can call as a classical body. Okay, so we'll, this, we'll see this also. And then there is one more, it is called as a BTE. BTE stands for business transaction event. It is mostly used for the FI models. Okay, it is mostly used for the FI models. It is nothing but a custom function model attached to the standard program to enhance the functionality. Fine. So this is a basic introduction, like what is enhancement, what we can do through enhancement, what are different methods like user exists, customer exists, bodies, BT, etc. Okay. So after this, we'll do actual practical and we'll see some small theory in more details of the each method. As I explained, user exists only for knowledge purpose. It is obsolete now. So we'll directly start with the customer exits. Fine. So we'll learn that from the next session. Thank you.